His tattoo has powers? Wait, what is the lore behind this? That's crazy. Turn to ash. That is such a good transition. The embers of the fire transitioning into petals? Who's the better character between these two? Who's stronger in the game? I need to know. How does their relationship play into the gameplay? Notice there'll be like kind of keyframes right there. So we get this awesome expression. It's very fun, it's very Pixar which I love, right in the left third of the screen. Great use of rule of thirds. We have this contrast. We have Hanzo here using his bow and arrow against like a, you know, Metal Gear Solid looking like Gray Fox looking dude. The focal point of this image would be the moon being the brightest point. It draws your eye perfectly to it. Look, we have these beautiful leading lines of this roof right up to this point. And then of course he's revealed is an absolute perfect composition. I love it. The whole theme of this video is contrast. Literally on this left side of the screen, we have these ancient weapon, like a bow and arrow, and this ancient architecture. And then we have Genji. He is literally the bridge between the ancient and the modern, standing on this ancient architecture. And then past him is a futuristic city. So just in this one shot, this beautiful contrast and this like transition as I drag my mouse over. For love, Denis Villeneuve's aesthetic. And he said he sent those exact shots. Hello. My name is Philip. I am a filmmaker, and today we're going to be watching and reacting to Overwatch animated short Dragons and analyzing the cinematic language. I've been getting a ton of comments from you guys. Check out Overwatch. Please check out Overwatch uh, short films and animations and cinematics. Now, I want to make it clear I've actually never played Overwatch. So, much like the League of Legends uh, videos, I'm going to be sort of putting this cinematic to the test in that. I have no knowledge of this game. So we're gonna be treating this as if it's an actual short film. Notice they title it Animated Short. I'm gonna be treating it as an actual short film. Will it be answering the questions that it shows me or will it be kind of dangling knowledge of the game over me uh, that I don't know about and just like making me confused? So that to me is just, we're gonna test it from a writing standpoint, from a storytelling standpoint, from a narrative standpoint. Yeah, it's only eight minutes, but that's a lot of time to use visual medium of film to tell a story. So we're gonna put it to the test and it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, that being said, if you guys are enjoying my Final Fantasy reactions, my League of Legends, my Overwatch stuff here, please make sure to subscribe. We're almost at 10K subs here on my second channel. So yeah, let's make it happen. Please hit that like button. Also check out my main channel if you wanna see my documentary, how I lived as a warrior monk at the Shaolin Temple in China. That was crazy. Um, also, stop by Twitch, which is, we're live right now. Everybody say hi to YouTube. Uh, for you Overwatch fans, showcase your knowledge in the in the comments. Who is your main in Overwatch? Who's your favorite character? Uh, I would love for you guys to recommend me other Overwatch cinematics to watch. And let's do this. There are a lot of good things about Blizzard from you guys, so I'm, I'm excited. Okay, I like this sort of uh, mythological My family imagery. Tells of an ancient legend about two great dragon brothers. Is it gonna look like this? Kind of like anime? The north wind and the dragon of the south wind. Together, Beautiful. They upheld balance and harmony in the heavens. That was a great transition. Almost like a painting on a wall or old folk folklore. Transition to modern times. Okay. Rikimaru. Oh, yeah, this guy. This is the guy who's, uh... He has, like, a katana, right? But the two brothers argued over who could better oh, that was their land. Just a great their transition right there. Their to rage and their violent struggle darkened the skies. And I love how we're transitioning back and forth. This is cool. struck down his brother, who fell to earth, shattering the land. Wow, okay. Very interesting that it's this modern setup. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. Badger, yeah. Oh my god. Alright, nice choreography. Okay, I like this immediately. It has like kind of a John Wick feel to it. But with this Pixar kind of like joyful, fun feel to it. Like come on, this guy's like yawning and smacking into the, the gong. That's triumph. really cool. But as time passed, I love the music too. His solitude. Yeah, great transition. Again, this has a very Disney Pixar feel, like I said. Like, you go from actually really cool choreography right here to this guy who's like fumbling his phone, trying to alert the guards or whatever. That was a really cool move. And a 
again, what I like about it is it has sort of this like anime type feel where notice there'll be like kind of keyframes uh, where he's moving incredibly fast. He's very adept warrior. But look what happens here. He's spinning around and they make sure to freeze it like right there. So we get this awesome expression from this guy. He's kind of like, <gasps> again, it's very, it's very fun. It's very exaggerated. It's very Pixar, which I love. And notice they take that just, just a couple frames right here. If, if we pause play through, if we go frame by frame, they just take that little extra time to set this guy up here, right in the left third of the screen. Great use of rule of thirds and also making a fantastic composition, right? As he lets loose this arrow. It's actually funny, I got into archery recently myself. As he lets loose this arrow right at this guy. Again, beautiful rack, uh, beautiful bokeh in the background. You can still see that guy fumbling with his phone. Shoots the phone out of his hand and he smacks it to the gong. Again, for me, it's just, uh, it's just really clean. It's very fun, and I like that he's not, you know, like eviscerating them and like mutilating them and stuff. That's really cool. Good framing, yeah, really, really good framing, Anna. Um, so what I like here too is too, like this transition. Notice we have this beautiful uh, shot of the gong that he smacked into, and then we're gonna use this imagery of the two dragons to actually transition into the dragon. This perfect circular shape of the dragon. Again, it's, it's just great editing. Um, and it comes down to actually great storyboarding at this level. The South Wind had tried very well planned out. But as time passed and he realized his solitude, the sweetness of victory turned to ash. Oh, that was cool. That was such a good transition. The sweetness of victory turned to ash. That is such a good transition. The embers of the fire transitioning into petals. That's mwah, beautiful. Beautiful editing, beautiful transition. Um, and come on, can we just talk about this composition? Can we just talk about this composition? You're kind of drawn to this beautiful, beautiful uh, tree with these glorious, glorious, like violet colors, pink and violet colors. And then of course the focal point of this image would be the moon being the brightest point. It draws your eye perfectly to it. Look, we have these beautiful leading lines of this roof right up to this point. And then of course he's revealed to be right there, right in the middle of the moon. It's just, it's an absolute, Perfect composition, I love it. All right, let's continue on here. Man, I love that, by the way, we're less than two minutes into this eight minute video, and it's like amazing already. I try not to pause, but I do like to do things a little bit different and pro try to provide a lot of insight and give you like my honest first impression, um, as opposed to just being like, whoa, for eight minutes, you know? Cool. For years. Oh, I love that, but it's chipped. grief threw the world into discord. Oh, wow. And he knew only bitterness and sorrow. Great shot. Great shot. One day, a stranger called up to the dragon and asked, Oh, dragon lord, why are you so distraught? The dragon told him, Great. Seeking power, I killed my brother. Mm. But without him... You can I hear the sadness him. in his voice, too, which I love. The stranger replied, You have inflicted wounds upon yourself. Oh, it's really good. But now... Uh, nice sound design too, as we cut back to him with this nice earth on two feet as I do. sound transition. Find value in humility. This is really nice. You will find peace. Ah, oh, glorious! Absolutely glorious! I love that it's like transitioning back and forth between the folk the toil assassin sent to kill me. and the present. And you will not be the last. Okay, assassins. Oh. Oh God! You are bold to come to Shimara Castle, the den of your enemies. This was once my home. Oh wow! Did your masters not tell you who I was? So he only uses coward stuff. I know who you are, Hanzo. That was awesome. I know you come here every year on the same day. Cyber Ninja. So what I like here is what I like here is we have this contrast. Um, it's really cool. Um, we have this contrast between the ancient and the modern, right? Like literally with the, the folktale showing like this scroll, like an ancient form of storytelling, like one of the most ancient forms of storytelling with modern like CG kind of John Wick guys in suits getting beat up by this dude. But now we have that almost doubly thick, dummy thick, because we have this guy Hanzo, they just said his name was, 
we have Hanzo here using his bow and arrow against like a you know Metal Gear Solid looking <laughs> like ninja, like Gray Fox looking dude. Riding. So much to honor someone you murdered. So this is the guy from you the other. Know nothing of what happened. Really nice, really nice movement here. A lot of kinetic energy. That was a really, really awesome shot. Yeah, that was fantastic. Really nice framing throughout. But they're they're not losing. You tell uh, yourself that your brother disobeyed the class. I love that sky. And that Look you that. have to kill him to maintain order. That it was your duty. It was my duty, and my burden. <laughs> That does not mean I do not honor him. Dude, you're so limited with a bow. Oh my god. That was awesome. That was awesome. I mean, he seems to be like much stronger than Hanzo. To be able to perform that level of skill is insane. He's also a machine? Is, is he a machine? What's the deal with this guy? Is he is he an actual machine? Or is he wearing like an armor? Honor resides in one's actions. You dare to lecture me about honor? You are not worthy to say his name! Okay, he's retrieved one of his arrows. His tattoo has powers? Wait, what is the lore behind this? That's crazy. I love how we're hearing the names. That's really cool of his techniques. Okay, that's awesome. He's directing their flow with his sword. Come on. I like that. Very like Dragon Ball Z. Kamehameha. Only a Shamada can control the dragons. Who are you? Oh, yeah. He's bested, man. You've been bested. Do it then. Kill me. No. No? I will not grant you the death you wish for. You still have a purpose in this life. Gray Fox. Brother. No. Oh. My brother is dead. That's his brother? No way. No way. That's the... So he is a cyborg. Genshi. Oh my god. The dragon knelt upon the ground. For the first time, he was able to clearly see the world around him. Wow. And he became human. That's beautiful. The stranger revealed himself as his fallen brother. Reunited, the two set out to rebuild what they had once destroyed. What have you become? That's really cool. By the way, very I like Darth Vader moment. What I am. And I have forgiven you. Let me now look you on you with my own eyes. Yourself. The world is changing once again, Hanzo. Very cool. And it's time to pick a side. Again, just just I, nice, nice composition throughout. Like if I pause it right here, look. You know, he's framed right within the moon. You know, like this nice circle. It's just great. Nice little touch there. This is amazing. Real life is not like the stories our father told us. Is he you were a fool for believing it so. Perhaps I am a fool to think there is still hope for you. But I do. Think on that, brother. The feather, awesome. Is the feather like kind of his iconography as well? I like that he's gonna go back to his meditations. He's gonna go back to his meditations and uh, continue. That's really nice. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, really, really impressed. Is that, is that it too? Let's see if there's a post credit scene. Overwatch, coming to PC and consoles made. Yeah, ju just really, really high marks for this, man. I like as far as the narrative structure of this short film, I like how at the beginning, it actually sets it up as if this is a, a flashback uh, because they've actually tricked us. A really, really clever 
trick they used here because they're using ancient looking art, like a scroll type ancient art to imply that this is like an ancient story and that it's a flashback. Like that's going to now affect the future, which is what we see right here. But what I like about it is that they reveal sort of like halfway through or almost all the way through that it's not a flashback. It's not an ancient story. This is the story of those two. These two the brothers. Brother. You... Uh, so I love that. I love that. Time, and then yeah. they don't like, you know, notice how he's dressed. He has a different outfit and stuff. So again, it makes it seem like perhaps it was a different time period or something, but it is them. That's a really nice touch. What I like about this one too is like they, they've almost committed. Uh, they've committed a little bit more to just like telling this story. You know, he became. Set out to rebuild. So how how does their how does their relationship how does their relationship play into the gameplay? Is there like special dialogue? Real life is not like the stories our father told us. You were a fool for believing it so. I mean, again, right? He said, "Real life is not like the stories." It's just I love that the whole sort of center of this entire video is contrast. Right? The whole theme of this video is contrast. Look, here we have ancient literally on this left side of the screen we have these ancient weapon like a bow and arrow and this ancient architecture and then we have him genji his name is right he is literally the bridge between the ancient and the modern standing on this ancient architecture and then past him is a futuristic city so just in this one shot this beautiful contrast and this like transition as i drag my mouse over from the ancient to the modern with him in the middle as the bridge you know he's the bridge between uh, this technology, the future, and the past, his connection to his brother, and this whatever, whatever battle he's talking about and stuff, and that's just really beautiful. So, I mean, hats off to him. It seems to be the theme of the entire thing, uh, with both literally what he's saying. You know, like, the, the storybooks aren't like reality. They aren't like real life. But then we also have this visually achieving that, and it's just really cool to see. Not even mad that Chinese-style dragon reuses a Japanese aesthetic story. Because everything was executed beautifully. Yeah, I would say this seems this seems more like kind of a celebration of of uh, East Asian weaponry influence stuff like that. Though, yeah, they they seem to be like very heavily Japanese influenced with their outfits. Uh, like how this all plays into the game itself. And, okay, so I have to ask too, like, who's the better character between these two? Who's stronger in the game? I need to know the truth. Is so I mean, according to this short film. He's like 10 times stronger than him. How he just completely like mocks him and as he cuts his arrow in half. Like, look at this. Who is your main in Overwatch? Like, who is your character that you use? Who's your favorite character? Uh, I would love for you guys to recommend me other Overwatch cinematics to watch or other cinematics in general. Please let me know in the comments. It's been super fun to get your recommendations. Yeah, just, just a great shot throughout too. This kind of like Mount Fuji reference over here. It's just very beautiful. Now wait, is Overwatch takes place on Earth, so this is Japan, right? Because the other one had uh, the other one had um, Paris in it, or is this like a fictitious, fictional, made-up city? Thank you so much, guys. Make sure to subscribe and stop over at Twitch if you want to chat live. Please let me know what uh, Overwatch cinematics to check out next, guys. Check out my main channel; it's a lot of fun. Check out my Shaolin documentary if you guys are into uh, this sort of like martial arts storytelling um i did train as a warrior monk check that out on the main channel it's a lot of fun if you're into the uh this this sort of storytelling uh instagram too if you want to see kind of like my daily training and stuff for martial arts and otherwise that's a good place to check it out p.s the documentary was really good enjoyed it oh thank you so much that really means the world yeah if you guys want to hop in the discord too man we got a lot of new friends um it's a great place to kind of like uh central hub to connect and just chill all right cool yeah let's uh let's play some video games for a little bit